So, hello and welcome everyone uh, on in the room and on Zoom and also viewing over YouTube. Um, today oh, we yeah, are... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Can we hear us now? Ah, sorry. The classic being muted. We've been doing that for two years now on over Zoom and Teams and everything. Why stop now, right? So welcome everyone. Uh, part of the, the crew is here in the in the room actually today. That's a nice uh, novelty. We have been uh, having empty rooms for quite some time now. Uh, joining us also over Zoom and over YouTube. We will today listen to a uh, licensure seminar by Tan Tran uh, and that is entitled Drill Failure Detection Based on Sound Using Artificial Intelligence. And by the title you can uh, maybe understand that this has also been a collaboration with industry. So we have been privileged to have Valmet as a partner here, uh, providing us with a uh, let's say a test case, a setup, and also some uh, recorded data. Um, today we have Professor Carl Åström as an opponent. Uh, Carl, maybe you can say a few words about yourself? Yeah, so my name is Carl Åström and I'm a professor at Lund University at the Center for Mathematical Sciences. And I do research on computer vision and machine learning uh, so mainly on so-called structure from motion problems, but also machine learning and recognition problems. And I have also been working on problems with sound and radio, also both recognition and structure from sound problems. Right, thank you very much. And uh, as you will see, uh, this is about sound and sound measurements, connecting AI to that kind of signals. Uh, but you will also see that sound can be transformed into images. So uh, it's uh, very good to have Carl with us to ask some tricky questions later on as well. So I will uh, turn the floor to you and uh, let's go with the uh, presentation. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Thanh Shen. I'm a PhD student at Miss Sweden University. Today, I would like to present my halfway thesis about real value detection based on sound using artificial intelligence. So uh, everyone you wonder what is a machine value detection system. A machine value detection system is a system for automatically detecting and diagnosis of various types of machine value. It is a very interesting process in industrial application. You also wonder what is a drilling machine. A drilling machine is a kind of rotating cutting machine that is used widely in factories to drill holes in materials such as metal, wood, and plastic. So the timely detection of problematic drill bits is essential to prevent damage on material due to drilling force because the cutting of a drill makes sound. Skilled technicians can distinguish the sound of a drill that is not working properly and immediately stop production so that the drill can be repaired. Our main purpose is to build a system to detect the failure in the drilling machine as shown in this figure. So we can put a microphone near a drilling machine to record the sound of the machine and uh, automatically put an alarm when any drill bit is broken. So the content of my uh, presentation includes four sections. The first section is about introduction. The second section is about machine failure detection system. The third section I will present about separate sound into STFT frame to eliminate sound noise frame. Finally, the conclusion and future work. 
next slide I will talk about the introduction part. So uh, why do we need a uh, machine failure detection system? Uh, Farmed AB, this is a company in Sunsvan currently operating multiple drilling machine to drill thousands of small holes in metal plates. A technician usually turn off the drilling machine every 10 minutes to check and replace damaged drill bits. It is a time-consuming and labor-intensive process. Therefore, a system that can detect broken drill bits is essential to reduce production and labor costs. You can see a drilling machine on this image here. When it is idle and when it is active, and they a healthy drill bit on the right side, uh, and a broken drill bit here. You see that it is broke here. Most uh, machine failure detection system usually use sensor vibration to detect machine failure. But why do we use sound in our research? Because the drilling machine at Farmed AB uh, consists of 90 or 120 drill bits. And uh, if we use sensor, we need uh, each uh, drill bit, we will need a sensor. So it's really complicated to mount the vibration of 90 or 120 sensor. Secondly, uh, water is used here to remove dust from the metal plates. You can see in this image that they use water. So it's really difficult to use vibration sensor in the extremely wet environment. These things motivate us to use sound in our research. The traditional methods to build a machine failure detection system usually extract feature manually and select good feature manually, then classify using conventional classifier. However, we uh, recognize that the sound usually contain noise and the waveform of sound are complex. And in our case, the sound is really short, around 20 seconds or more than 40 milliseconds. So it's really difficult to check and select good feature manually. So why we do deep learning in our research? Because recently deep learning, especially convolutional neural network have been extensively studied. And we can check feature automatic, automatically using convolutional neural network instead of uh, check feature manually. That will not require much human labor and knowledge for hand design feature. Thirdly, CNN so really good performance in image classification and computer vision. This thing motivates us to convert sound into image representation, such that male spectrogram or log male spectrogram, then take the advantage of CNN. Thus, but when we are working with sound, we recognize that sound already contains noise. So we think that uh, it's really difficult to classify sound when the sound contains much noise. We, we hypothesis that the, if we can cancel the noise in the sound, the accuracy of the sound classified system will increase. Therefore, uh, my thesis focus on two research questions. The first one is how to build a machine failure detection system based on machine sound, especially on a small data set. The second research question is how to eliminate noise in sound to improve the classification accuracy. So we have solution here. Uh, for the first research question, I propose using image representation of sound to take the advantage of deep learning on image processing. Then we extract features using CNN and we classify using either support vector machine or CNN using combined with attention-based long short -term memory. For the second research question to uh, cancel noise in sound, we separate sound, each sound into many overlap content STFT frame. In the next section, I will tell the detail about our proper methods to build machine failure detection system. The data set uh, we use includes three classes, anomaly sound, 
normal sound and irrelevant sound it is recorded from VAMED AB and uh, each class had only 67 sound uh, anomaly sound it is the sound when a real beat is broken normal sound it is the sound when machine working pro normally and irrelevant sound it includes own background sound such as the sound when someone knock on the microphone, the sound when control volume or technician talking. I visualize the signal of three sound in three classes in time domain here. Anomaly sound, normal sound and irrelevant sound here. So, uh, the success of deep learning in image processing and uh, computer vision motivates us to use uh, male spectrogram in sound classification. So the first proposal methods to build a machine value detection system. Firstly, I convert sound. I pre-process sound. Secondly, I convert sound into male spectrogram. You can see here. And I use pre-chain VZZ19 to extract feature automatically from uh, male spectrogram image. Then, uh, because the number of ejected features are really much, so we use feature selection NCA to reduce the number of uh, features. Then we classify using support vector machine, KNN, or linear discriminant. So, for pre processing, we use low path filter and high path filter, then we convert sound to male spectrogram as shown in image here. I will talk a little bit detail about male spectrogram so everyone will know the overview about male spectrogram. So male spectrogram is a combination of male scale and spectrogram. And uh, I think most people know about spectrogram, but for the male scale, they see come from the word melody to indicate that the scale is based on pitch comparisons. In this slide, I saw an example of the male spectrogram of an anomaly sound on the right side. So on this male spectrogram image, you see that the time runs from left to right, the vertical axis, so the frequency, the horizontal axis, so the time, and the amplitude of a particular time is represented by color. Dark blue color here corresponding to low amplitude, Bright color up through orange correspond to progressively strong amplitude. We think that male spectrogram is best suited for applications that need to model human hearing perception. And it's really suitable to use in audio classification application. So the comparison between an anomaly sound, a normal sound, and an irrelevant sound in male spectrogram is so here. You see that there are certain differences between each male spectrogram. A normal sound has the high gate frequency, normal sound has the second high gate frequency, and the, the irrelevant sound has the sorted frequency. I visualize some more sound in uh, each class here, so you can see the pattern and different. That's why CNN can classify them. So the male spectrogram can become the image representation of sound. You see that the male spectrogram of normal real sound would be similar across different time and uh, microphone. Based on this similarity between the same normal sound or even the simili similarity between anomaly sounds, we can classify them. After converting sound into male spectrogram, we eject feature from them. We load pre-chain VZZ19 and eject feature from the last pooling layer. In here, I mark as pooling layer 5. Then we obtain more than 25,000 feature. It's too much feature. So we decided to do feature selection with neighborhood component analysis. Then we obtain more than 400 selected features. Then we can change a model with the selected feature. We use 60% for chaining and 40% for testing. We use different kind of machine learning classifiers such as KNN, support vector machine, and linear discriminant. So we can compare the accuracy and 
choose the best model. As the results, you can see here I saw the performance of different machine learning classifier. You see that medium Gaussian support vector machine and quadratic support vector machine reach the high gate accuracy of 80.3%. In the uh, next slide, in this slide, I will talk about the second proposed methods to build a machine failure detection system. So for this uh, methods, I firstly, I convert sound into log mail spectrogram. We don't use mail spectrogram in this uh, methods. We use log mail spectrogram. Then we input the log mail spectrogram into our small proposed CNN with only three convolutional layer and two pooling layer to check feature. With this CNN, we use leaky rectifier linear unit activation function instead of using uh, rectifier linear unit activation function. Then ejected feature will be input into long short term memory. We put an attention layer in the end of the long short term memory to pay attention in anomaly sound and two fully co connected layer to class the labels. For data augmentation, uh, because we recognize that our data set is quite small with uh, more than 200 sound for three classes, so we apply data augmentation. We try many kinds of data augmentation and via experiment, we do time shifting and volume control because our sound from format AB is extremely short. It's really difficult to apply other data augmentation methods. So for time shifting, you can see in the image on the left side, we ship the sound 5 milliseconds to the right, then pass it back to the original length. The blue sound here is the original sound, and we ship it display in red color here. And for volume control, we set the volume uh, again at 2 decibel. You see on the image on the right side. After augment data set, we convert sound in uh, the augmented data set into log mail spectrogram. I, uh, the log mail spectrogram is obtained by taking the logarithm of mail spectrogram. So uh, the mail spectrogram is displaying power in color. But uh, if you want uh, decibel, so we have the log scale, log scale mail spectrogram here. And of course, you see that there are certain differences between each log mail spectrogram of three classes. Then we propose a small convolutional neural network uh, using a leaky rectifier linear unit activation function. The convolutional neural network to check feature have only three convolutional layer and a max pooling layer. We put a pair of batch normalization layer uh, to normalize feature and reduce overfitting. We put it before and after convolutional layer. You know that the why we use uh, leaky rectifier linear unit activation function instead of using rectifier linear unit activation function because uh, leaky renew, uh, leaky renew warranty that the layer continue to learn when the step, when the, the slope of uh, it is zero. So in leaky rectifier linear unit, the gradient which are already updated with a small slope. So we are sure that the uh, model is still learning. Then we uh, put uh, ejected feature from CNN into long short term memory with an attention mechanism. We add an attention layer after long short term memory because the pitch of the audio changes at the real bit change from the normal state to broken state. So we're using a layer of attention to pay attention to that anomaly. As a result, we have the table here to show the result of our proposed methods too. And after augmented data set, we have 603 sound. And uh, we see that our proposed methods reach 92.35% of accuracy. We saw some confusion metric and uh, uh, other evaluation metrics such as precision recon and F1 score on the table four on the right side. 
In the next section, I will talk about our methods to separate sound into STFT frame to eliminate sound noise frames. So, uh, our proposed methods include two main steps. First, we separate sound into STFT frame. Secondly, we label the frame as clean or noise. So, in order to separate the sound into STFT frame, we define a window frame, a window frame here. Uh, with a fixed length and a sliding step, then we slide the window frame over the sound signal and calculate the FTFT for each position of the sound signal. There are four types of frame may appear in the sound. This is the silent, the noise, the clean, and echo. So, so uh, the silent is a, is the tiny sound from the beginning of the sound file or no sound. The noise is unwanted sound, such that uh, the sound of the wind interacting with the microphone, electrical noise, and so on. And echo is a distinct repetition of a sound. Then the clean captures the clearest sound, or we can call it the sound event. We use uh, a, a public data set, FBD Noisy 18K, and we select randomly 896 sound in 20 classes to separate into STFT frame and label. So to verify our proposed methods, we propose a sound classification system including two phases. For the chaining phase, we separate sound into STFT frame, then manually label into clean or noise class C here. And we chain a pre-chain network. We chain different uh, pre-chain networks such as Google Net, VCC, DuckNet, EfficientNet, and SuffleNet to compare the performance too. And in the prediction phase, any unknown sound input into the system will be separated into multiple STFT frames. Then it will go through the chain classifier to predict into 20 class C. And one additional noise class on the uh, noise frame will be absorbed in the noise class. As a result here, I saw on the table on the left side, our compare between our proper methods, we separate each sound into multiple overlap STFT frame and conventional methods, people usually convert each sound into only one STFT image and we use the same pre-chain network. You see the result on the table on the right side, on the table 6 with VZZ16, our proper methods reach more than 94% of accuracy but the conventional methods reach only more than 55% of accuracy. Absolutely, that our proper method is much better. The next section, I will talk about the conclusion and future work. So, uh, in conclusion, to answer the first research question about building a machine failure detection system, we propose two approaches. Uh, the first one is convert sound into male spectrogram, check feature, and select good feature using NCA and classify using support vector machine, and we achieve accuracy of more than 80%. Then the second method, we apply data augmentation such as time shifting and volume control, then convert sound into log mail spectrogram, classify using CNN, combined with attention-based long short-term memory, and we reach accuracy more than 92%. For the second research question, we eliminate acoustic noise in sound to improve the robustness of the sound classification system. And uh, we classify using pre-chain VZZ19, we reach accuracy of 94%. And we can e absolutely that we improve the model performance by increasing variability in the data by separate Excel into overlap STFT content. In the future work, we would love to collect more anomalous sound the sound of broken real beat from the factory in Varmet AB or from our lab using and uh, we also want to do beamforming to reduce noise when we record sound and we want to collect longer sound so we can apply our proposed method to eliminate noise in sound too. Uh, thirdly, we can generate uh, and uh, augment more anomalous sound using synthetic minority over sampling technique or generative models such as autoencoder, variational autoencoder, um, uh, generative adversarial network. We have 
experimented with this work and will present the results in our upcoming paper. Thank you for your attention. Lämnar vi Youtube nu?